Hello everyone and welcome back to School of Stock Markets YouTube channel and we are back with another stock research for all of you and today the company under consideration is Apollo Tubes Limited. So what is Apollo Tubes Limited? What did they do? And is it a good company? Is it not a good company? What is our opinion about the company? Let's see in the video. So Apollo Tubes Limited is one of India's leading branded steel products manufacturers. Now here they are a steel products manufacturer. What they are doing, they are taking the raw steel from the market and then they are making product of the steel. So what products do they make? They make MS black pipes, galvanized tubes, pre-galvanized tubes, structural ERW steel tubes and hollow sections. So now here we have read some big big names. Many of you might have heard about them, many of you not. So let me explain to you what are these things. So M MS black pipes also called as mild steel black pipes. It is not galvanized and is an idle product to be welded into pipes, tubes and other kinds of tubing. It is one of the cheapest metals available in the market and can last up to 100 years if placed in a well maintained environment. So uh, this is a kind of low priced product of the steel that they are manufacturing which can last up to 100 years also. So second product in the line is galvanized tubes. So galvanized tubes are steel pipes that have been dipped in a protective zinc coating right in a protective zinc coating. So these are the pipes that manufacture the pipe and they then they dip it into the protective zinc coating to prevent corrosion and rust. Galvanized piping was commonly installed in homes built before 1960. Correct, when it was invented, galvanized pipe was an alternative to lead pipe for water supply lines. So still, uh, it is one of the main areas where these galvanized pipes are used. So now second is pre-galvanized tubes. So pre-galvanized steel refers to steel which was galvanized while in sheet format, thus prior to further manufacturing. Right, so what is the difference between the galvanized tubes and pre-galvanized tube is that galvanized tubes, after manufacturing the tube, they dip that into a zinc coating right and pre galvanized it when steel was not converted into any tube in the sheet format itself it, it was dipped into a zinc coating so this is the major difference between the pre galvanized and galvanized now structural erw steel so erw means electrical resistance welded right erw steel pipes are manufactured by low frequency or high frequency resistance they are rounded pipes welded from steel plates with longitudinal welds. It is used to transport oil, natural gas and other vapor liquid objects and can meet various requirements of high and low pressure. So these are the major products that they are manufacturing and now you know what these products are, correct? So where do these products are used? So these products serve the industry applications like urban infrastructure, housing irrigation, solar plants, greenhouses and engineering. Right, so these are the different different area where these products are used. So now let's go to the company's website to uh, see more about the company. Right, if you see here in the product list of the company, you will find 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So these are the different 8 categories of products that they are doing. So obviously they have a very wide range of products to offer to their customer and if you see at their website what do you find you find some big things right on their website uh, like uh, they are the principal sponsor of the Delhi capitals right so obviously this is a big company correct they are into some capital intensive business they are offering wide range of products and wide categories of products also which are used into different different areas and if you uh, go down to their website, you will find they claim they have 50% of market share in the structural steel tube, right? Manufacturing of the steel tube, they say they have 50% of the market share, correct? Obviously, it is according to their research. Uh, nobody else is claiming that but themselves, right? 2.6 megaton capacity they have. They have 11 plants, 800 plus distributors around the world. 
16 patents of the product and 75 registered trademarks so obviously uh, till now whatever we have seen and heard about this company everything you know uh, gives us a clue that okay this company is into something big thing and might be they are earning a lot or not so to find out that let's move to the financial statement to check whether they are earning that much or not or these are just some bogus claims that they are making so now let's move to the company's financials so here you can see we have consolidated balance sheet uh, for the apollo tubes and here you can see uh, these uh, figures are rupees in crore so this is pp property plant and equipment so 2020 they had 1471 crore rupees invested into their pp so now remember one thing this is a highly capital intensive business they are into the manufacturing of steel pipes so now it is a big thing right so they need to have good amount of pp and as well as they also need to have good quality of those right so here you can see uh, after one year they has increased 30 crore rupees investment in the pp which i'll say is fair enough right so they are increasing their pp if you will see that capital work in progress that has increased significantly almost by 97 crore rupees which i will see as a good sign right uh, means they are getting more orders or their research tells them that the, the demand of their products is going to increase that's why they are you know making more goods and if you move down a little bit to the current assets of the company you can see inventories levels are maintained right not much decrease or increase in the inventories and trade receivables you can see uh, has fallen significantly right significantly fall we can see in the trade receivables means they are you know receiving cash uh, from their buyers so it is again a good thing uh, i would say it is a good thing and if we move to the statement of profit and loss here you can see uh, almost 700 crore rupees increase in their revenue from operation so now this is a really really good thing uh, you can understand this right 700 crore rupees increase in their revenue from operations other income we can leave which also has seen a, a increase of 13 crore rupees but revenue from operations itself has increased for 700 crore rupees even more than 700 crore rupees so it is a great thing right obviously they are earning so uh, if we'll move to the profit for the year you can see profit for the year has increased uh, around 150 crore rupees 150 crore rupees is a big number correct uh, and anyone can understand that they have increased their profit by 150 crore rupees so they are investing in their pp they have high capital work in progress means they are receiving orders they have decreasing trade receivables which means they are receiving cash from their customers their revenue is increasing means they are selling more and more products uh, their profit for the year has increased by 150 CR so there can be two reason to that one reason is that you are doing more sale and second reason is that uh, you are doing sell effectively uh, you are manufacturing goods effectively reducing your cost so let's see uh, if we can move to the cost you can see cost of material consumed uh, was 6595 crore in the previous year in the current year it was 7159 crore rupees stock purchase uh, in trade purchase of stock in trade uh, you can see has decreased significantly employees benefit expenses has also decreased their financing cost has decreased so yeah obviously it means that if you'll move to the cash flow statement you will find that they have paid off a lot of finances that's why their financing cost has decreased uh, their depreciation and amortization has increased for this year so overall you can see they did big business they sold more that's why uh, they were able to make more profit their operations were not effective compared to the previous year so it was like similar uh, effectiveness in the operations right their cost has not reduced significantly means they are just selling more uh, their cost is not going down which is okay which is totally fine right because they are into high capital intensive business so modernization takes time so it is fair enough but we have to give them credit that they have uh, increased their revenue by 700 crore rupees and profits by 150 crore rupees so it is good they did well right so now let's move to the statement of cash and flow uh, to find out whether they are able to generate cash from their business or not so here uh, is the cash flow statement 
and here is the cash generated from operations which has increased almost by 500 crore rupees right so now this is the most positive thing that you can find uh, in any in any uh, cash flow right this is the most positive thing their cash flow from operation has increased by 500 cr it is brilliant right they did really great job uh, means their business is effective they are earning more and they are receiving cash also more it is not that they are just doing credit sales which can uh, later on become bad debts and they have lost it it is not like that they are receiving cash also so it is a good thing now investing activities they have to invest more because they are into capital intensive business which needs needs more and more machinery so you can see uh, their uh, investment it has also increased by 200 crore rupees you can see here which is a good thing again i would say and their uh, cash flow from the financing activities is also increased right outflow has increased in this means they have paid their financial more their borrowings they have repayment of non-current borrowings at 387 crore Pre previously it was at 250 crore rupees only so it is not necessarily a good thing but we have to give it to them because they have good uh, cash flow from the operations and they have invested more in the investing activities so they did well right and cash uh, cash and cash equivalent at the end year has decreased because they have paid more finances and invested more into the uh, investing activities so it is fair enough so their financial looks good right their cash flow from the operations is great their revenue is good and their profit for the year is also good these three things are really good now we have drawn some points which we think makes this company impressive now let's move to them so here is the market capital of this company which stands at 24209 crore rupees it's a big company right 24000 crore rupees of the mark uh, market capital which is almost around 3 billion dollars so it is a big company a uh, foreign institutional investor you can see stands at 23.29 percent 23.29 foreign uh, foreign institutional investors have invested in this company promoters holding pledge zero percent their enterprise value is 24,413 crore rupees a brilliant thing compared to their market cap which is at 24,209 crore only the promoter holding is almost at 34.5 percent which is good thing right promoters are believing in this company they are holding the stock of this company it is a good thing uh, their earning per share is 22.7 their pe is 43.16 and their industry pe is 4.96 only right now there is a thing their pe is at 43.16 the industry standard pe is 4.96 so you might have doubt that this company is overvalued compared to its industry pe so industry p and the p of the company is not the only thing that one should look at while while evaluating a company right we have seen that their profits are also increasing significantly correct their cash flow from operations is also increasing significantly that's why these company sometimes stays overvalued or their uh, price to earning always stays higher to the industry standards right that is not necessarily meaning that this company is not doing well or this company is overvalued correct because you can see here their return on equity stands at almost 27 percent right 27 percent is the roe for them so you can understand that they can have a higher p compared to the industry standard right their roc is stands at almost 28 percent so again uh, by this logic you have to understand that this p is justified i would say and that debt to equity look at the debt to equity of this company is 0.3 percent so the risk to the equity holders is very less right now what are the strength of this company so first is stocks where mutual funds increased holding so mutual funds means big investors are increasing their uh, holding in this company so it is a good thing consistent high return stocks over five year nifty 500 and third thing is effectively using shareholders fund ROE improving since last year and we, can, we have seen almost 27% of the ROE is a really good thing. Efficient in managing asset to generate profits ROA improving since last two years. ROA is written on assets so it is increasing. We can see profits are increasing right and compared to that their assets are not increasing. Their profit for this year has increased by 150 CR but their asset has increased by just 30 CR so by that only you can understand their ROA is increasing. Good quarterly growth in the recent results 
company with low debt we have seen that debt to equity is 0.3 percent only so definitely this is a company with low debt right growth in net profit with increasing profit margin we have seen that their profit margin is also increasing company with zero promoter pledge so these are the strength of this company the promoters are completely believing in this company right increase revenue every quarter for the past three quarters right their revenue is increasing and we have seen their revenue has increased by almost 700 cr for the year end and annual net profit improving for last two years right 150 cr was for this year the increase was 150 cr in the annual net profit for this year A strong cash generating ability from core business improving cash flow from operation last two years we have seen that the increase in the cash flow from operation was of almost 500 crore rupees brilliant this company is to a 10 percent increase in share price over three months so this is a company which is an uptrend currently right and their net profit is also rising so obviously this everything makes this company really desirable and you should also look at whether you should invest in this company or not so guys thank you so much for watching this video we will continue to deliver search, stock research for all of you till then subscribe to our channel do share this video and do not forget to like the video thank you so much for watching see you soon